A lot of people think it's easy to diagnose a concussion, and if you're knocked out, it's traumatic, and it's simpler for a clinician to say, ah, oh, that's, that's an event. But think about all the times maybe you've had where you maybe got a ding on the head and you saw lights for a second, and then you felt fine. But we don't know if you actually really were fine. And that can be very challenging in contact and collision sports. So the mouthpiece is basically a set of accelerometers which measure, measure linear acceleration, and gyroscopes which measure rotational acceleration that are housed in this band. Underneath are the batteries that power the device, and it has the ability to store data on a chip or also transmit it wirelessly. And then there are two sensors on the side which tell the mouthpiece that it's actually in a player's mouth. If it's not in the player's mouth, they take it out and put it in their helmet, it actually turns off. And if a player wearing this mouthpiece gets hit, we can see the G-forces. They're stored both in the mouthpiece and transmitted wirelessly to the sidelines where a computer will also store them. Each of these requires a charge, generally overnight, so once the player is done with either practice or a game, they're handed to the athletic trainer who sanitizes them first, and then they're placed into the charging station overnight and ready for use. In any football season, there's always going to be some impacts that are pretty significant. We have had some of those, so we've seen that the device does work. The validation, which is the testing to make sure this was good enough for us, should be coming out early next year. We look to continue to do these studies over years with partner universities because collaboration is the only way that we can make a real impact uh, on concussion research.